How you doing, Davi? I've been better. Are you shaking? A little bit. My heart's racing. We are at AWARE, Atlanta Wild Animal Rescue Effort, and uh, they have a lot of wild animals here that are injured or displaced, and they take care of them and nurse them back to health. And most of them are real cute. There's one I'm worried about. <laughs> um, so I'm here because clearly I couldn't go 30 days without apologizing, but I won't apologize. Um, so I had a couple slip ups, and my dear husband wrote some punishments out for me so the Burt Show could punish me for all of my sorries for the last 30 days. And the first one we're knocking out on the list is the worst hanging out with a possum because I hate him. Look at your shakes. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Mirjan from the Aware Wildlife Center, and I'm the senior wildlife care supervisor here. So um, I'm in charge of day-to-day uh, -day operations and animal care for all the wildlife, and uh, our ultimate goal is to get these animals out back back out into the wild. Am I sweating? Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, they sleep during the day. Yeah, they're not turtle. So is he gonna piss? No, she's good. <laughs> she's a good possum. Question oh, one. I left the crazy oh, possums in the back. Oh, she's beautiful. What's her name? Uh, her name is Scully. Shut up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Weren't she... you Scully for Halloween? I was. <laughs> so you guys have a lot in common. Isn't <laughs> that right? So Scully originally came to us. Um, she was actually transferred from another facility. Um, the facility was um, a university, so they she had some head trauma, and they did brain surgery on her. <laughs> and um, when she came to us, she had a little fungal infection in her pouch, so we had to get her through that. Um, and she also had these injuries to her tail that we're working on. That's Aww. ointment and stuff on her tail to kind of keep it clean and keep it uh, healing. And so possums are actually the most non-aggressive mammal in the United States. They're probably the most non-aggressive. Um, they, uh, you know, their biggest defense mechanism is to bare their 50 teeth, which is probably more teeth than any other mammal. Yeah, 50 teeth. Yeah, it's more than most land animals for sure. Um, and then uh, they hiss. Oh, they keep your mouth open. Yeah, that's what yeah. I always thought that was really aggressive. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's as far as it's a display. That's as far as it goes. Um, typically, if you keep approaching them, they fall over and play dead. So I heard a plain possum. Yeah. So that's what they do. They fall over and play dead so that, you know, you leave them alone. All right. Um, if I hiss at her, will she take the message and get away from me? Probably. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How can you not love that? <laughs> It just took that right out of your hand. Yeah. Yeah. She likes her strawberries. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Be kind to help her out, you know? Okay. Will you use your mouth or your teeth? Or She's 50, gentle. 50 teeth, eh? Focus. Hey. Focus. Uh, look, take your focus. Little, take, use your little hand, though. She's special. Don't be closer to her. Don't be rude about her. I think Davi is oh, too. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it got bigger. Did it not get fluffier? It grew twice in size. These guys have a bad rap because they're not the probably the cutest most uh, cutest animals in the wildlife kingdom. But I mean I think they're kinda cute, little cross eyes and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that's my question. Like why aren't they cuter? <laughs> are kind of cute, you know, <laughs> because they, you know, they, they're scavengers, so they kind of just travel around and they basically, they clean the earth to make room for new life. They take, um, they eat dead stuff, you know, so all that dead stuff that would be out there, they kind of eat that. Um, they also eat a lot of ticks and they eat, um, eat rodents even sometimes. So well, they're, they're really good at cleaning up the environment for us. It's good to have around in the, uh, in the, um, <laughs> in the environment. Oh, <laughs> can't you got a you got a hand feeder, Dobby. Uh, okay. Hey, is she blind? <laughs> she has a, some vision problems. She, she can see, me, but she's oh, a little. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you did it. Fifty teeth. Fifty. Why do you need fifty? You're just eating garbage. These guys actually also they can kill any venomous snakes. <laughs> Um, oh, which really? is really cool, and the venom doesn't affect them if it's you know venom from snakes in their area. Really? Um, so yeah, so they even clean up that. You know, it doesn't so even give them a belly ache or anything. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, is it, no. it gluten-free snake? <laughs>
So I was thinking half rat, half Satan, but <laughs> it's a marsupial. It's a marsupial, yes. <laughs> Not Good rodent. to know. Not a rodent. Does the power of Christ compel them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Um, but another cool thing about these guys is they uh, typically do not get rabies. Um, you're more likely to win the lottery than get rabies for a possum. And uh, that has to do with their body temperature. It's just very low. It's lower than most other mammals. Um, so they, in, they've, in laboratory settings, they've been able to induce rabies, um, but they have to first raise the body temperature okay. um, before they can, um, in, in, before inoculating, um, in order for it to take. Well, then that's a really common misconception then, because yeah. I thought they were just born with it, or it was like, <laughs> it, like they were born with it, but it came out of puberty, like they just had <laughs> the rabies in their pouch until they're ready. So. Right. No. Yeah, they, it's very unlikely that they have them, yeah, and then they're not, not possible, aggressive. Much. Also, mm -hmm. they're pretty. They usually see. I mean, this is a wild possum. Um, she's. Uh, uh, we're gonna keep her here for an education animal, so okay. uh, she'll stay with us. Um, but she has not even started her training yet because she still has the tail injuries and things like that. Yeah. So she has not been worked with as far as training. This is just um, a wild possum. You know, they don't make good pets even though they're docile. Um, one, they can get a lot of health problems. You don't care for them right. And two, they're wild. You know, they're gonna use the bathroom in the house. They're gonna eat stuff, tear up stuff, that sort of thing. So just because they're docile doesn't mean they make good pets, but they're not really something that is, you know, you should be worried about. It. Do they all like, do they sleep upside down like the cartoons? <laughs> uh, they do not hang from their tails. It's also a popular misconception. Um, they have what's called a prehensile tail. Um, hers may not work very well anymore because of the, the break in the, the fracture in the tail. It's not um, that strong, but they can like... They'll grab. use it to, hang, to get down. Yeah. So they'll hang from the tail to get down low, but they won't just hang from their tail to rest or anything like okay. that. So why are they always feasting on garbage? And are they going through my mail because that's a felony? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, they, you know, that's their adaptation. Um, they're not real fast animals, as you see. Like a couple times, she's tried to run off, and it was just kind of like, yeah, you know. Um, so they're not really fast. So um, I, I guess you know, evolutionarily, they adapt to that because it works better for them, you know, because they do. Like I said, they'll eat rodents, but they're not so fast at catching them. Yeah. So they kind of primarily eat the garbage, and because they have that low body temperature, they're very, uh, they have a very strong immune system. So they're oh. very good at uh, fighting off diseases and things like that. Um, so it works well with their systems. Okay. So they're like really against being wasteful, which right. is cool. Right. They're green. My Polish grandma is gonna appreciate that. <laughs> um, they finish all the food you don't. Mm -hmm. And they hang out in your garbage. That's cool. Mm -hmm. If it bites me, will I turn into one? <laughs> no, it will hurt <laughs> very, very much. You know, they they are they do have a powerful bite. It's not to say that no possum would ever bite you. Mm -hmm. I've seen aggressive possums, um, but their their bite is enough to crush your bones. So they give off a specific smell, or they just smell suspicious all the time. <laughs> um, some of the dirtier possums smell worse. The boys have, uh, in which we can see if you want me to bring out the large male. Yep, uh, I would love to see, see that. that? The are the best. Can I just point out how? You're afraid of the super cute furry thing, and yet you inch closer to the I snake. Like snakes. <laughs> snakes are cool. She's shedding. She's getting her winter coat on. I know how that is. I agree. They are cool. But I love that you are scared of the furry, fluffy teddy bear. Because I can't understand that animal. It looks like multiple things put together. <laughs> the whole re like the whole reason I even because I just thought they s like scared me a little bit. But I hit one with my car on Aww. the way to my boyfriend's house <clears throat> once. Just, it was dark wood, he lived out in like deep in Buford woods. So I'm just driving along, driving along, and I thought another car was coming. I thought it was headlights like far away, but it was possum eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I just hit that thing, and then when I looked in the rearview mirror, it was gone. <laughs> And I was like, I, I was like, it's still alive. I hit it. It's holding on to the bottom of my car, like Sideshow Bob and The Simpsons. He's just gonna follow me home. So when I got to my boyfriend's house, I was like, you have to come outside. I can't get out of my car because it's gonna eat my ankles. And then he was like, there's something effing wrong with you. So there clearly is because everybody thinks these are cute. Jesus. So this guy is a rehab patient. Oh gosh. Um, he was hit by a car. Did you hit him? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that was like 12 years ago. So okay. if they are the Antichrist and they live forever, <laughs> then maybe. Aww. Yeah. So he's uh, a rehab possum. We've only had him for a few days. Um, he's much larger, as you see. And the males actually have. Show us. 
this yellow port portion right here on their chest. Okay. And that's a scent gland. Ooh, and they can walk up to trees and they rub their chests on it and stuff and kind of mark the area and, and let other possums know they're there. I don't know if I can pet it because I feel like the hair is going to feel different than a normal animal. But does it just... It's soft. It's soft? Yeah. Because it, look, it looks scary. He looks scary. He looks scary. But he kind of looks like a teddy bear. Kind of. What teddy bear? <laughs> Look at that tail. That tail looks like something from dinosaur times. Yeah. Go back here. Are you running off to your 50 teeth? I didn't need to learn that today. I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel? It looks like it's gonna feel like a snake. Does it? Oh god. Okay. Yeah, it feels like a snake. <laughs> Rawr. Okay. Oh. Oh, that is soft. <laughs> okay. Is it the teddy bear soft? Ish. I mean, it feels like a dog, like a husky. Oh yeah. I thought it was gonna be all coarse and weird and like gooey <laughs> and wiry. <laughs> so, do you like them now? They're cuter now that you've learned about them. Yeah. Dispelling some of the myths. The fifty teeth really threw me the hell off. <laughs> gotta be honest. But they are cuter. How can people at home help out if they want to? Can they donate, volunteer? Yeah, um, Aware is a nonprofit. We survive pure, um, mostly off of volunteers. Um, so you can always donate. We love that. You can um, come out and volunteer. The volunteers are the ones that take care of the animals. Um, and you can even do things that don't cost much money or time to you, like like us on Facebook and come out to some of our events. A lot of them are free. A lot of times animals are there. Um, or you can link your Kroger Plus card or Amazon Smile account to us. And cool. then you don't have to pay anything, but those guys will automatically give us money every time you purchase. So there's all kinds of ways you can help. Yeah. We're a nonprofit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. brilliant. And you want mostly money donations. You don't want people to drop their garbage off for the box. Right. Just to be clear. Right. Don't drop off garbage. I mean, you could stay here if you wanted, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> It smells the chicken you ate for lunch. What? Stop! I did have a Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs>